begin with our top story, which takes us to Iran, where Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei says the missile attacks on two U.S. bases in Iraq are a slap on the face of America. Addressing a ceremony in Qom, Khamenei said America brought instability and destruction to the region. He said last night's military retaliation for the assassination of Qasem Soleimani is still not sufficient revenge. Iran's supreme leader said the corrupting presence of American forces in West Asia must come to an end immediately. Khamenei said Tehran is quite equipped in the face of bullying powers of the world. Meanwhile, President Hassan Rouhani said Iran's president says U.S. may have cut off Soleimani's arm, but Iran will respond by cutting off its leg in the region. Iran's state media claims at least 80 of what it calls American terrorists were killed in the attacks. Iranian Foreign Minister Jawad Zarif said Tehran took proportionate measures for self-defense under Article 51 of the UN Charter. Zarif said Tehran does not want an escalation or war, but will defend itself against aggression. Earlier, the missile attack targeted an al-Assad base in Ambar province and a base in Erbil, the capital of Kurdistan region. After the attack, President Donald Trump said an assessment of casualties and damage is underway and he will make a statement tomorrow. The Pentagon said Washington will take necessary measures to protect U.S. personnel, partners and allies in the region. U.S. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper said Washington does not seek conflict but will respond forcefully if necessary.